Cindy Iverson loves to track down and share Oregon history. Especially Pendleton, Oregon's history that's been locked away for decades. Okay, we'll get everybody to move this way, please. It's a walking tour called Pendleton Underground and takes you back to a time when Eastern Oregon was booming and small towns hid their secrets. This is basically the way it was. We try to keep everything as intact as possible. The tour shows off the darker side of Pendleton. For example, in the Shamrock card room, Iverson says the bartender cheated customers out of gold dust by simply spilling a little each time. If they weren't serving drinks, they were cleaning the bar. Now they didn't do that to be neat and tidy necessarily. Usually what they were doing was sweeping up all the excess gold dust that didn't quite make it to the scale. When no one was looking, the gold dust might find its way onto the floor. So this next area that we're gonna go into is typical Chinese living space. It's all dirt flooring. I want you to watch your footing. The tunnels were built by hundreds of Chinese workers who were discriminated against by the town's white population. So much so, the workers were not allowed on the streets during daylight hours. They were teased, taunted, shot, killed. We have one news account of a Chinese worker who was shot and killed in Echo. Uh, the cowboy that did the shooting and the killing was fined $5. That was not for the killing, it was for discharging his firearm in the city limits. So that's how bad it was. The unique tour shows off turn of the century opium dens, laundries, butcher shops, and bootleg whiskey bars. Pendleton had quite a vast tunnel system under their city. The whole downtown core was a maze of tunnels. So if you knew how to get down here, you knew where all the stairways were, you knew where all the exits and the entrances, you could go almost anywhere underground. You can also climb the stairs to reach the cozy room, one of 18 bordellos that made up the town's red light district in the late 1800s. The second floor hallway is full of so-called working girl rooms that operated until the 1950s. Well, let's head back. I got things to show you on the way back. Back at Pendleton Underground, be sure to check out the remarkable display of leather saddles and other leather works by famed local artist Duff Severe. The artistry of it. He took it to another level, a complete different level, from being a craft to a piece of art. Whether above ground or below, this fabulous destination is worth the time and the travel. In Pendleton, with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.